Okay, Chris, do you want to tell me what's happening right now? In our lovely, how many days to go? Hardly any. Five. <laughs> so we're in the final stages of emptying the house. And like good citizens with an interest in preserving the planet, living as sustainably as we can, we've separated everything from the shed and the garden into metals and hard plastics. And then we've borrowed uh, Charlotte's brother's van so we can fit it all in in one go. Turned up at the Gwalchmai Recycling Centre on Anglesey. It's a commercial vehicle, so we're not allowed in. We explained it's just it's household stuff, nothing commercial. You can have a look, it's kids' bikes. Look, can't let you in. Uh, you need to go and get a permit. So here we are, planning services at uh, Anglesey County Council. They won't give us a permit because it's not our van. So I now have a van full of nicely sorted hard plastics, metals, all sorted, ready to go in the right places. They will not take it. My brother-in-law will have to come with the vehicle documents to get the permit. And his council tax um, form. Oh, and his council tax forms, probably in triplicate, with some kind of fingerprint and blood sample and Christ knows what else because we're trying to do the right thing. What's it make you want to do, Chris, with that rubbish in the van there? It makes me want to leave it in one of those members, <laughs> council members, parking spaces. <laughs> and I wish that I actually had it within me to How do long that. How have we been driving around now trying to get rid of this rubbish? About two hours. <laughs> two hours. Five funny. days to go. No, it's not funny. <laughs> it's really not funny. Right. So. I'm now going to go and try and find a man with a van and a permit and pay him to take our nicely sorted recycling to the council's excellently run and managed let's encourage people not to fly to it recycling centre. So we're on our way back from the permit office. Not only will they not give us one, because it's not our van, if it were our van, we would have to bring them the logbook, proof of our council tax payments, and then it would take two weeks to get the permit. It's probably not the best way to encourage people to recycle. Added to it, they're forcing domestic people who want to recycle stuff that the curbside collections won't take they're forcing them to do many trips in their car because if you get a large vehicle whether it's commercial use or not they class it as commercial you're not allowed on site by the time you've gone back and forth with your little boot full of your recycling the emissions from those journeys will have negated any benefit to your recycling in the first place so congratulations Anglesey Council for striving to push up our carbon emissions and put us off recycling. This new strap line for you should be encouraging fly tipping since 1874. We're not going to fly tip. We've uh, found a guy with a van, with a permit, and we're going to pay him to go and take our stuff to recycling. So we're actually paying on top of our council tax someone to go and get rid of our recycling for us so that we don't let the council force us into contributing to more landfill. I'm lost for, well I'm not lost for words but most of them probably not repeatable.